Hello. Welcome to Netconf and Yang Automation Testing. My name is Nabil Mishraf. I'm a solutions architect in the automation team at Cisco. Let's start by defining what NIAT is. NIAT stands for Netconf and Yang Automation Testing. It is a tool used to test automation best practice implementation for the Netconf and Yang APIs. It is use case driven testing using NSO, which is the Network Services Orchestrator. NIAT is not NetConf protocol compliance testing, although it includes basic testing for some mandatory features of NetConf, such as the hello message and some other RPCs. Use cases in NIAT are user defined, they are not automatically generated from YAC. NIAT includes testing basic NetConf operation compliance with automation best practices, YANG syntax and semantics verification for the YANG models that are exposed by the device, and device transactionality testing, which helps test the transaction support uh, for the NetConf implementation on the device. NIAT is used by network equipment providers to test their NetConf and YANG implementation for automation use cases. Benefits of NIA. First, ensure NetConf and Yang API implementation follows best practices for automation. Also, verify mandatory and optional NetConf capabilities of your product. Another benefit is the automated testing of the transactional capabilities of your product for adherence to NIA automation criteria, which we will see in the next slide. NIAT can be integrated into your development lifecycle so that it can become an iterative part of the development lifecycle in order to detect issues early on. And lastly, avoid field deployment issues for your customers by testing early using NSO and the NetConf Net. So what are the NIAT automation criteria we referred to so far? These criteria enable service automation and need to be supported by the device. Mandatory NetConf basics, such as the hello message, locking of data stores, subtree filtering needs to be supported by your NetConf implementation. Yang model correctness, which include the syntax and the constraints need to be correct per Yang standards. Yang model compliance of the configuration, the configuration handled by your device and stored in your device need to respect the types, ranges, and constraints, such as must statements that are defined in the Yang model. At the end, Yang model constitutes a contract that your device needs to honor. And lastly, transactionality. Your device needs to support the asset properties of transactions, all or nothing semantics, all at once semantics. Configuration validity should only depend on other configuration elements in Yang models. It should not depend on operational data. And lastly, no auto configuration, which refers to configuration that is either modified, created, or deleted by the system in a way that affects services and automation tools. The NIAT program is a free service open to equipment vendors. What you get is the NIAT container, which includes NSO for non-production use, NetConf Net Builder, which helps you build a NetConf Net based on the Yang models exposed by your device. And Dr. Net Examiner, which helps with testing the transactionality of the NetConf implementation of your device. You will also get a very detailed documentation and free technical support via email. What you need to contribute on your end is a device to test a system to host the NIAT tool, one or more use cases, 
and a handful of typical configurations for each use case. The typical NIAT testing workflow is as follows. First, you run the NIAT container, which includes NSO and other dependent packages. You upload the Yang models to NSO. Then you use the NetConf Net Builder to build the net. In this phase, Yang models are compiled. Any issues will be reported and you'll be able to fix those issues so you can proceed. Once the NetConf Net is built in successfully, you can install the net in NSO and execute basic operations such as show and configure. After you execute basic operations, you move on to gather test configurations for customer use cases. Here, you can choose one use case or multiple use cases. And for each use case, you need to determine several configurations so that the Dr. Net Examiner tool can execute transitions between the different configurations. This way, you'll be able to test transactionality. Thank you.